Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited to do an unboxing of some items I've received over the past few days. Now I normally don't buy this amount of stuff, but have you guys ever gone shopping and you picked up a few items and then you catch this bug of I have to buy this, I have to get that, I must, I need, I have to have, and then it's almost like you're an addict with the constant need of online shopping or going to the stores. So this sort of kind of happened during that one moment and it always happens when I'm on some type of ban, whether it's buying clothes, shoes, or handbags. So it's probably better that I don't put myself on a ban and then I won't have this incessant need to buy, buy, buy. Um, so this is probably the last of the shopping for a while because I am going to Europe next month and I want to buy one nice item there. So um, maybe two as a souvenir. So um, let's go ahead and get started. So my last video, I did a reveal of what I got for my birthday and it was an Apple Watch, a rose gold Apple Watch. And while I love rose gold jewelry, it is kind of hard to wear as a casual watch every day or even just on the weekends as a casual watch because then the rose gold Apple Watch is very specific. So what I did was I actually went into the Apple Store and exchanged it for um, a Series 2 Apple Watch. And I don't know if you can see it here. Probably not. You just saw the reflection of the umbrella. So let me grab my unboxing knife and do a true unboxing. So I'm sure you guys already know that Hermes has these beautiful straps that go with the Apple Watch. And but it doesn't go very well with the rose gold one. And so of course I go in to exchange it and the one I want obviously is always the more expensive one. I never want the cheaper one. Um, <laughs> I tried I tried to pick the brush uh, finish, but it just wasn't really my style. And of course me, I'm the only person that would say my casual watch ends up being in total, not only a 500 some dollar Apple watch, but a very cool accessory, which I'm gonna show next. So let's, let's do um, this unboxing because I do want to wear it this weekend. Now I am not a fan of the Apple Watch because the ones I've seen, it just looks so utilitarian, so functional, and I love like glamour, I love jewelry, I love fashion. So to get something so utilitarian didn't really fit my kind of speed. And so I decided to get the um, the stainless steel version because of course as um, a girl I'm going to accessorize it with different types of straps and my husband loves straps uh, and he puts different straps on his watches depending on his mood for the day so um, it sort of rubbed off on me and so when I saw the Apple Watch when it came out I wasn't a really big fan of it and then when I saw what's coming up next I knew I had to have it then just so I so I ended up having to pay more for this watch, which is, of course, something I, I had to do. And to unbox it, you can probably see here, um, it's a very beautiful box, just like what expensive watches come in. And I'm the only person that would get a casual uh, weekend watch and spend, um, I paid an extra 280 on top of the rose gold one, just to get the upgraded version. Um, so when, I should. I could have had a, a weekend casual watch, uh, like a Casio baby G-Shock or something like that, and have it just be perfect. So, but because I got the Apple Watch as a gift, I had to upgrade it. So let's see here. Let me go ahead and unwrap, unwrap this here. Of course, now it's oh, here's a pull green tab that you pull and it makes it so much easier. And it comes in this beautiful packaging. True to the tradition of Apple, this glossy white box, which I absolutely love, and to spend five hundred fifty some dollars on a watch, it's very beautifully packaged, and it should be because a cheap watch is like you know fifty, sixty, eighty some dollars. So the here's the inside. It feels like a micro suede fabric, and it has a little indentation here, which I believe is where the watch would sit in. Um, and both lining of the box is in a micro suede with indentation. And let me put this back here. Here is the watch, which I'll go ahead and undo right now. 
because I plan to keep this. Now, I'm not a big fan of the straps. It's so um, white and it's so going to get dirty. We all know this. Um, I, you know, if you look at the watch here, it's, it's so going to get dirty. So, I, of course, I upgraded to another strap, which I'm going to show next. Oh, this is a reason why I wanted it, the Apple Watch. So let's put this back here. There's a charging station. Um, I want to make sure I don't um, lose any of these pieces here while I do this unboxing. So the next item I got was from, as you can see here, Hermes. This is a reason why I wanted the Apple Watch. Not for the Apple Watch itself, but for the straps. So um, the SA, it was so helpful. He let me try on a number of straps. And this one that I purchased, you'll see here, is in a beautiful color. Hermes does a wonderful job in packaging their accessories, and they should because they cost an arm and a leg. I also received two perfume samples, which I'm dying to try because I love the Rose Amazon or Amazon, um, and here it is. So, and it's so cute that the um, ribbon is labeled Hermes Apple Watch, right? Isn't it so cool? Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, so. When I got the Apple Watch, my husband, I showed him, this is a strap I want. I was actually going to buy an aftermarket one because I couldn't fathom spending $490 plus tax on a strap. It just, it, to me, it's just an insane amount of money for a piece of leather. And, um, and yeah, I, I spend money on handbags, but handbags are my things, not watch straps. And bless his heart, he says, of course you have to get their mess straps. This, this, it's beautiful. And so to unbox it, and inside is a suede pouch, which comes in. And I, maybe you guys have already seen this before because I'm kind of late to the game of the Apple Watch. And the flap opens up in the back, and this is or mess, oh, stuff is flying out. And in here, are two different pockets so mine kind of fell out already but hang on so it has two little pouches on top here which one of the straps goes in here and then the bottom strap is here so and it does come with instruction manuals on how to attach the straps so you can see the color here isn't this a beautiful color oh, uh, this is a reason why I wanted the straps, the double tour. This is a regular size and not the extra long. Here's the other portion. So these two here will attach onto the straps. And this is, you can see the color differences. Here's the outside and then the inside. I cannot wait till this leather starts to patina from using, um, from using it with the the oils from your hands, a little bit of dirt, a little bit of rubbing, and the leather here is so incredibly soft and well made. The strap here, it does have a stamp that says Hermes Petit Bracelet Made in France. I also wanted the Hermes face that comes with the Apple Watch, but I found out, and you guys probably already know this, is that you have to buy the actual watch and um, strap together, the actual packaged Hermes Apple Watch, but I couldn't fathom spending 1200 some dollars plus dollars on my casual weekend watch that I will wear occasionally. I do have nice watches I wear every day, but for a weekend watch that's going to go to yoga, that's going to be kind of like just kind of tossed around, I just couldn't do it. And so, of course, once I got the gift and I spent this amount and my husband gave me the straps, you know, here I am, you know, 500, 700 some dollars later with a weekend watch, which I normally would only want to spend less than 100. Even $25 I don't want to spend on a weekend watch. This here is, my husband ordered it for me, um, mainly because I was driving him crazy with what I had on the bed. So... Uh, I was gifted over the holidays with a silk pillowcase from a company called Slip, 
slip um, pillowcases or slip silk and these are wonderful because it's supposed to prevent wrinkles yay right um, and it's really soft and you can wash it and your face you know it's anti-crease your hair doesn't um, doesn't frizz with these type of pillowcases because it's so soft and silky however the I received a pink one and it was making him bonkers he did not want the pink pillowcase on the um, bed so I bought a white one and he said you can never put the pink one on <laughs> and, and I said why not it's just it's a pillowcase he said no so what he ended up buying me was not only one two three I think he's made his point um, he, he said I have to take the pink pillowcase I can use it when I'm on the road traveling but he will not let me have it on the bed and if it lands on the bed I think he might throw it away so instead now I have four of these slip silk pillowcases I actually like them and these are I think they fit both a queen and a king size bed you can get these at Nordstrom's for I believe $79 but I'll put the link down below so so I went with less expensive shoes this time because I wanted to try a trend but I didn't want to commit to spending a lot of money especially sometimes on suede when it gets dirty so quickly no matter how you spray it or treat it that happens so what I bought here I think there's several versions of this floating around these are a pair of Sam Edelman's the Stanley camel suede so I got these shoes doesn't smell like super luxury shoes which I don't ex expect for it to smell like it smells a little bit chemically and plasticky but what do you expect for under a hundred or a hundred some dollars the next item from Sam Edelman are these black shoes yes it does doesn't smell like Manolo but that's okay I didn't pay the Manolo price these are the serene black suede it's just a simple tie shoe here low heel uh, with the trend of the block heel it is a suede I can't tell if it's real suede or um, faux but um, I'll give it a whirl I thought this is perfect to, for me to take with me to Italy uh, because it's I can walk in these it's a black sandal and it might be able to take me through a lot of different clothing choices with jeans and a t-shirt casual I can dress this up with a cute wrap dress or the dress I just bought um, going on tours because the heel is so low I can manage uh, through a tour or walking for about an hour so this came for me from Nordstrom's I didn't ask for it but he insisted that I use this because I think the aggravation it caused him to see the pink pillowcase on the bed on an all white bed um, was more than he could handle and so here I am with the owner of these three pillowcases. Next up is, let's see here, so unorganized right now, it's so hard. This is a purchase from Bloomingdale's. So I bought so many clothing at one time from different places that I actually almost forgot that I bought this. Do you guys ever do that and forget what happens? I bought a gray skirt from a company. The brand is Cupcakes and Cashmere. I believe she's a blogger. And it's just a simple gray ribbed skirt. You can see here it's a midi length. And I think it's going to go perfectly with this blouse. So you can see here I'm wearing jeans right now. But I think it's going to match beautifully. So this here, I believe was about, let's see, well, it was a hundred and I actually got it on sale for 66 some dollars. So I thought that was a steal because I was actually looking for a gray rib skirt. No one had it out there, but Bloomingdale's Cupcakes and Cashmere. So definitely I'm going to try this on. I'm sure it's going to fit and I think it's a, a beautiful score. Um, wow, this is a heavy dress. Next on my purchases are um, this dress from Cameo Collective in the confetti print. And yes, I'm opening it up here. You guys get to enjoy the sound of wrinkling um, plastic. Wow, this is this is a really heavy dress. So I will probably do a try on video, but this is the dress here, and. It's a wrap ruffle bottom dress with a really cute confetti kind of print. Um, 
these are such cool dresses because it's a wrap and if you have big lady lumps like I do and um, you always have a hard time trying to find clothes that don't make you look like you're a cow um, because you do have a waist but your boobs just you know they kind of take up their own zip code so I I needed something that that's wrapped that this looks best instead of anything that's just straight up and down so I will try this on it is $255 it's a lot more than I would pay for a mini dress, but I thought it was a beautiful color. It's perfect for spring and summer. Next are some shoes that are on the more, um, I wouldn't say premium level or premium designer, but not cheap. I got two pairs of shoes, one from Dolce Vita. So here's our box. Um, these boots are finished by hand. That was a cute little note. Still smells that plasticky smell. I, I know I'm not going to get the extensive leather smell with, you know, these shoes, but one can hope, right? So these are a cute pair of mules and they are the Esme Wave shoe. And I had not owned a pair of mules in a very long time. So I got these because I own a lot of black shoes, as you can see. And I have two pairs of gray shoes but none that are mules that are in a comfortable height that are not too, I want, I guess I would want to say I wanted something more soft, more feminine, more spring-like. I normally only buy shoes about twice a year. And for a while I was only buying um, really, not I say really expensive shoes, but I was only buying high-end luxury shoes, mainly because I was only buying three or four pairs a year, that's it. And so the shoes, I would make them last, resole them, put the new uh, heel tips on them, whatever I needed to do to make sure that they lasted. And what I was finding was that some of the shoes, because it's so expensive, um, I don't want to wear them out. I do want to wear them, but not to the point where I trash them. So um, you can see here, all these the collections, most of these shoes, I... Um, when I add up the amount, it just makes me a little bit nauseous. So um, I'm not going to think about that right now. But I will do a collection review of the top 10 favorites because going through all these shoes here. And I have some in another room. Um, you guys may just lose interest. Right. Next on my shopping list, I'm running out of space here, are a pair of Rebecca Minkoff um, sandals. And it's in my hand. It's cute, cute box. I may keep this because I love the black and gold. I think I was Persian in my last life. Everything black and gold, that's me. This is really, really cute. These shoes, well, I'll never get the expensive leather smell with shoes that are around a hundred and some dollars. It's, um, I think it's going to work. This is the Christie shoe. I want to know how much I paid for them. I paid for the Christie shoe, what? $195? I thought these were on sale. Um, I'll have to double check with that one. I think these were on sale. It's a little bit modern in design here, but boho in the heel. So that is my haul from Bloomingdale's, um, Sam Edelman, Nordstrom's, the Apple Store. I think I, think I have everything covered. So. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to make another video. Let me know if there's anything that you are interested in and I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Thank you for stopping by.